Aruba is part of the ABC Islands, which includes Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. These three islands lie south of the hurricane belt in the Atlantic Ocean, making them an especially popular choice for those wanting to vacation in the Caribbean during the summer and fall months while still enjoying glorious weather. Aruba is the most popular of the islands as its weather tends to be less humid than the majority of the others in the Caribbean. In addition to the great weather, Aruba also houses beautiful resorts, casinos, and gorgeous beaches located just 15 miles off of the coast of Venezuela, and Tropical Island is an independent country belonging to the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Hello guys, welcome to the Top 10 Destinations. In this video, we're going to tell you the top 10 things to do in Aruba. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Now let's get started. Number 10. Busher Ibana Gold Mill Past explorers have dedicated their life in search of riches and precious rare earth elements, and Aruba Island hasn't disappointed. However, it wasn't great explorers that first discovered its hidden value. It was a 12-year-old shepherd boy that stumbled upon the first gold in 1824. First mining on Aruba was done by individuals, but eventually all of the mining rights on the island were given to a Dutch company. More than 3 million pounds of gold have been extracted. It's commonly believed that the name Aruba is a reference to all the gold it held. Today, the picturesque old stone ruins of the gold mill at Bushribana are a popular attraction for tourists. They can be visited on foot, or if you'd prefer, you can also see them as part of a horse riding or ATV tour. Number 9. De Palm Island, Aruba Searching for a getaway while in Aruba that offers a little bit of everything? Then you'll want to sign up for this all-inclusive private island adventure. You can choose between a full or half-day adventure, and your entry fee covers a slew of activities, including but not limited to zipline rides, salsa lessons, and banana boat rides. It also includes breakfast and lunch buffets and your drinks. De Palm Island also boasts its own water park. And because this is a coral island, the surrounding waters are teeming with clouds of colorful tropical fish. So snorkeling is yet another option. There are also other experiences available for an extra fee, including massages. De Palm Island Aruba also offers an underwater helmet walk that allows swimmers to enjoy a scuba diver-like experience. Number 8. Donkey Sanctuary Aruba Though donkeys are not native to Aruba, they have played an important role in the country's history. For many years, they were the main form of transportation and also helped with the building of the towns. The arrival of automobiles to Aruba ended that, and many donkeys were set loose to fend for themselves. Unfortunately, disease and accidents with motor vehicles eventually killed much of the population. By the 1970s, only 20 wild donkeys remained on the island. Animal lovers didn't want to see these creatures disappear from the island, so they set up a sanctuary where they could live safely. The sanctuary is free to visit, but donations are welcome. Number 7. Alto Vista Chapel Located on a hill near the town of Nuord is Alto Vista Chapel, known colloquially as Our Lady of Alto Vista. It was the first Catholic church in Aruba. Although its current structure was built in 1952, there has been a chapel on this site since 1750. If you decide to visit the Alto Vista Chapel, make sure to check out the Peace Labyrinth where you can meditate or pray while walking through its grounds. Yellow in color with a red roof, the tiny church contrasts nicely with the bright blue sea behind it. So even if you're not a Catholic, you'll still have a great day appreciating the picturesque scenery. Alto Vista Chapel is open every day from 5 to 7 p.m. with Mass on Tuesdays. Number 6. Antilla Wreck The SS Antilla, which is the second largest shipwreck in the Caribbean, met its demise in quite a dramatic fashion. In 1940, less than one year after the ship made its maiden voyage, its own German crew set it ablaze rather than have it captured. The ship had been anchored in Aruba's Malmug Bay when Germany invaded Holland. Not surprisingly, the Dutch government ordered all German ships in the Dutch Antilles to be seized, and that's when the SS Antilla was set ablaze and eventually sank. Today, the wreck is teeming with tropical fish and is a popular site for snorkelers and scuba divers. It's considered by many to be one of the best shipwreck dives in the Caribbean. Number 5. California Lighthouse This stone lighthouse, which was built between 1914 and 1916, is one of Aruba's most well-known landmarks. It's named after the SS California, which was a ship that sank in 1910. You can find the recently renovated lighthouse at Hodeshibana near Arashi Beach, although modern technology has now made it obsolete. The 100-foot-tall California lighthouse is still a big draw for tourists, especially since it offers some of the best views of Aruba's jagged coastline. If the trek to the top of this structure leaves you hungry, there is an on-site restaurant located in the former lighthouse keeper's house where you can grab a bite to eat. Number 4. Baby Beach Baby Beach is one of Aruba's best-known beaches. It's a beautiful, shallow, man-made lagoon with very calm waters. 
making it perfect for children. Baby Beach is also popular with kiteboarders and windsurfers. You can find this beach on the southeast end of the island, away from the bustling resorts. While the water inside the lagoon is calm, it's a different story where the bay opens out into the Caribbean Sea. There, the current can be very strong. This area is also the best for snorkeling with its pretty array of fish, but it's important you stay alert and don't stray beyond the protected waters of the lagoon. Number 3. Oranjestad Oranjestad is the biggest city in Aruba and also its capital. It's a popular cruise ship port, so don't be surprised if the streets are crowded with cruise ship passengers checking out the town's shops and restaurants. Strolling through Oranjestad, you'll find a mixture of colorful colonial buildings, high-rise resorts, restaurants, bars, and shops. Oranjestad's oldest building is Fort Zutman, which dates back to 1798. Today, the fort is the site of the Bonbini Festival, a local dance and a music show, which is held every Tuesday. Getting around Oranjestad is not a problem, even if you don't have a car, as there is a free tram service that makes a half dozen stops throughout the city. Oranjestad is also home to the longest park in the Caribbean. This park's main feature is a paved trail that is perfect for walking, running, and biking. Number 2. Arikok National Park If you're a nature lover, then you'll definitely want to check out Arikok National Park, which covers approximately 20% of the island. Some of the creatures you might run into at this hilly park include the Aruban Whiptail Lizard, Aruban Cat Eye Snake, the Aruban Parakeet, and the Aruban Burrowing Owl. The park is also home to three beautiful beaches, Dos Playa, Boca Prince, and Dimari Beach. One of the park's most popular features is the natural pool, which is also known as Conchi. The beautiful natural pool can only be reached by 4x4 four four vehicles, ATVs, on foot, or on horseback. Number 1. Palm Beach Palm Beach is where you can find the majority of Aruba's high-rise resorts. This area also has many restaurants, casinos, bars, and shops. So if you won't be renting a car, Palm Beach would be the best place to visit in Aruba as all you need is within walking distance. In addition, Palm Beach's surf is typically calm, making it ideal for swimming. And for those times when you're bored with catching rays or wading in the surf, you can rent a paddleboard or a wave runner from one of the many water sports concessions in the area. Palm Beach also offers some of the best nightlife in Aruba. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know your favorite place in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video just for you guys. Until then, take care, stay safe, and be happy, guys!